Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to open up your Xbox 360 using the Xbox 360 Unlock Tool by Team Executor. Show you guys right here. And it comes with a little torque, screw, torque screwdriver you're going to need. And remember, for all your modding needs, modjunkies.com. Pick this up right here in case you're going to be doing any modding. You're going to be switching your fans. You're going to be JTagging, flashing, you know, whatever you're going to be doing, you're going to be needing this. I recommend using this because, well, I'll show you in a little while why I'd say using this. First thing we're going to need. You have a hard drive, you're gonna to want to take that off. You're gonna to want to take this hard drive off. Clicking the little eject button, pulling it out. So we got the hard drive off. Now what you're gonna to want to do. Alright, so after you take out the hard drive. You're gonna want to take off the faceplate in the front. So what we're gonna do? Put it upside down, right by this little hole right here. Just kind of pull it out. It should come out. Don't worry. It's gonna need a little bit of pressure, but it comes out. Put that to the side. And we have our front right here. Now you might have a, a warranty sticker right here. If you want to go ahead, do the the blow dryer heat method. The way that works is you get a blow dryer, you heat the sticker up, not so it, not so it melts, but you know, enough so it can just kind of peel off, you know, put it in a safe place so you don't lose it. Now for the top right here, what you're going to want to do, we're going to start off. Alright, so for the top, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing, you're going to be using this little long part right here. Try to zoom in right there so you can see if you're going to be able to see that little tab right there. Wait, let's see if it works. Right there, that little gray tab right there, which you're going to get. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but try to do my best. You're going to get it. See that little tab? You're going to kind of Put it to the right, then you're gonna move it, and then you're gonna lift up. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Move it and lift up. Alright, so we got the first points off. Alright, so now that we got the first little tabs right here in the front from the top, now you see right here you have these little you got like little three tabs sticking out from right here. You're gonna need it. You're gonna put them, and you're gonna look for the slots, and you're gonna put them on each one, and just press down with a little bit of pressure. So you're gonna one down right here, one right here, wait, 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 wait. one right here, one right there, and one right there. Just press down. Just kind of move a little bit then you're going to do the same thing to the other side to make sure it doesn't close up Oh, and for this last one right here, you're going to have to take this off, little rat, little rubber pad. Alright, so after you see that little hole, do just poke it. So we got this side out, and we just need the very last top one out right here. There we go, got the top part out, move that out of the way, and if you want, you can put back your little rubber pad, back on, you can do, you're going to do the bottom part out, once you find your holes, just press down, 
push on it. Kind of start to come out. So we're gonna have to do the other side. Make sure none of them close. Alright, so we got the bottom piece out, put that to the side, now you're going to have to put it, put your 360 upside down so the rubber pads are facing up. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is these little tabs right here, you're going to, well you can use this I guess, I'll just use my finger now, but you're going to want to kind of put some pressure up and then use your nail to kind of lift the tab up. There we go, almost there. Now you're gonna turn this around, and like I was saying, why these little tabs come in handy? Cause see these little holes right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them right there. If you use a screwdriver, you're gonna, you can risk breaking a little tab off or something, and you know we don't want to go through all that. So we're gonna use this. All right, so we're gonna do this side first. Use this. You're gonna hear some clicks. It's alright, you hear some clicks. We got that side out. We use this side out. And it kinda opened up a little bit, but that's alright. Do the same here. Got this clicks and it's open. That easy. Alright, these are the screws you're gonna be needing to unscrew. So if you're just going to be doing it for maybe flashing the DVD or you know changing the fans or whatever the ones that you need to do are this one this one this one this one uh, this one right here then this one right here those are the ones if you're gonna be doing the X-Clamp fix are you gonna be JTagging it? Just do all of them. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, and then I'll come back with you guys once we're done. All right. So I just finished taking out all the screws that I'm gonna take out. So now, once you're finished, turn the 360 over to the other side. And I just kind of lift from the back and then to the front. Wait. First of all, you're gonna need to take out your little DVD button, little thing right here. You know, just pull it out. Pull it out and it should just come out straight. Put this up right here. With. You should be good with the inside right there. Alright. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Remember, buy the Xbox 360 unlock kit by Team Executor. And remember, for all your modding needs, modjunkies.com. I'll put a link in the description. And I'm out.